Hey guys, today we're going to go ahead and try to unlock the bootloader on our uh, OnePlus 8 and also the OnePlus 8 Plus Live. Um, so for this, we're going to go ahead and try to look at uh, my tutorials for the 6 and the 6T. It should be the same. Um, let's go ahead and attempt it. So the first thing you will do, oh, by the way, I have the link. I'll put the link here. So we're going to go into about phone and basically um, hit the build number. So let me go ahead and show you that. So the one plus eight plus, sorry, eight pro. Uh, go to about phone. We're going to hit it five times. And that's working. Also, the eight. We're gonna hit the build number. It says you're a developer. And you gotta hit the back button. Um, you're gonna hit about, uh, I think system. Yeah, system developer options. Ooh, it won't let me do it. I'm actually not sure why, but let's go ahead and try on the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro developer options and make sure OEM unlocking is on. I'm not sure why it's not doing it here. Ooh. Um, this could be because maybe this is a T-Mobile version. That's Weird. Oh, connect internet. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. I just got this phone. I didn't uh, update it. Hold on. So make sure you're connected to the internet. 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 Uh, we'll go back to system. Developer options. What? Oh, you know, you might have to put your SIM card on here. Oh, there we go. It did work. Oh, there we go. It worked. All right, so let's go ahead and look at my uh, tutorial that I made uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, next, we're going to... Um, Power off the phone and volume down and power buttons. So both both phones. All right, we're gonna go ahead and power off. Power off is uh, volume up and power for this phone. Hello, hello guys. Uh, so volume down and the power. Um, so you get go ahead and enter your a pass key and choose English. All right, uh, and go ahead and go to advanced and go to reboot to fast boot. Go to fast boot and same thing here. Uh, so volume up, so volume up. Oh, volume down and power. Hold it. All right. Oops. Choose English, advance, reboot to fast speed. Uh, so you'll see both of these phones will say locked. This will erase everything on your phone uh, once you unlock the bootloader. So we'll go ahead and try with the OnePlus 8 Pro first. All right, go ahead and connect it to your computer. Uh, let's go back to our computer. And if you're using Windows, uh, open up Control Panel. Just type Control Panel. 
And I think I already have device, uh, the drivers installed, but we'll check. So not network adapters, USB. Okay, so let's go back to the tutorial. Uh, fast boot and handray USB drivers. Okay, let's go ahead and download uh, the drivers. Um, go ahead and download. Go down here to download. What's up, Juan? So we're gonna go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Already downloaded. Go to your download folder. Um, go ahead and unzip, extract all to fastboot. Oh, I already have it installed, so there we go. So once you have this, we're going to go ahead and go to Start and type CMD. Hit Enter. Go ahead and hit CD Downloads. Enter. CD Fastboot. Enter. And we're going to type Fastboot OEM Unlock. If my drivers are installed correctly, it should work. I'm not sure. Oh, it worked. It worked. Um, so uh, choose unlock bootloader. Now, if you're having trouble, um, go ahead and use the volume keys and hit the power key. And we've just unlocked the bootloader for the OnePlus 8 Pro. What's up? What's up, Gio? And this will re reset everything. So when you root, you have to unlock the bootloader first. Um, it's going to erase everything on your phone. Oh, while that's going. We're going to unlock the bootloader here. Uh, go back here. Just hit the arrow key up. That will refill it. And boom, shakalaka. Oop. So for some reason, they, the driver is not installing. Oh, it worked. So I'm going to unlock the bootloader. Now, if you're getting error here, you want to go back to... Uh, the driver installation here and follow it. All right, Android USB drivers. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to figure that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader and boom shakalaka. So that's unlock the bootloader for both phones. And uh, boom. What's up Zolika? So once you unlock the bootloader, it's easy to root. Right now, I'm not actually not sure if there's actually an unlock bootloader method. So we go to XDA, uh, go ahead and type one plus, plus eight XDA. And we'll have to wait for like a twerp. Uh, most likely like a, oh, look, there's nothing here. Oh, there's without twerp. Okay, so right now this is a patch method, but what you really want to wait for is actually the twerp method so you can install twerp. That way you can actually uh, install custom ROMs. So I would actually wait around because if you just root now, you just have root. Um, but that's how you root, uh, unlock the bootloader using my old method with the OnePlus 6 and 6T. It's pretty much same for all, all of the OnePlus. So that's how I'm not making um, new tutorials. But you saw that I, I just did that in, uh, I don't know, less than five minutes, something like that. And it's gonna wipe your whole phone. What's up, Albert? And I'm gonna reset up my, my uh, phone here. So the first thing when you get your phone, you'll want to actually unlock the bootloader that way you don't have to start over. Um, and I'm just gonna skip everything. So my, my phone's completely wiped, uh, but I did unlock the bootloader. So as soon as the new twerp is available, even if I, uh, ah, I don't like this. Even if I just, you know, install everything, I'm gonna be able to root it without erasing everything. 
So I've got both of these phones uh, bootloaded, uh, unlocked, which is the first thing you want to do with a phone um, like this one. You set it to. Uh, I mean, in terms of root, it is better than the Samsung Note 10 from a car maker. You make cars. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to make fun of your name, but uh, is a is a cool last name, car maker. So if you follow this method, you should be good. The only thing I really skipped was the uh, driver installation because I already installed the drivers, but. Um, just just look at the link that I posted. You can also use um, If you guys are having trouble go to my ah, go to my site high on Android and uh, Let me see under rooting if you go to fast boot zip and ADV drivers um, Try the Is it this one? Yeah, the universal drivers. This is the one the Android USB drivers windows. This will install um, drivers uh, manually. So right now my phone has an unlock bootloader, OnePlus 8, and the OnePlus 8 Plus. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but my tutorial has not changed for a few years. And that's why I'm not making a new video. But uh, I just wanted to show you how to unlock the bootloader, and now you're you're ready to go. Go ahead and sign in. And do that. Uh, Paul said that website has saved my ass so many times. All right, cool. I don't actually want to show you guys uh, the other method because that's sort of like a temporary method. And it's going to give you root. I suggest just use your phone. And when the twerp comes out, what you do is just use Fastboot to install twerp. And you can install Majisk. And you don't have to wipe everything. Right? Unfortunately, this phone's not even out yet. Or is it out? So just, just wait till the twerp is out. And my recommendation is just to wait for that. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. That's pretty much it unless you guys have any questions uh yeah I'll take five minutes to answer any questions yeah you guys like the cover um let me put this in there there's a lot of fingerprint magnets now if you guys uh, want to protect against coronavirus i do highly recommend getting the Zeiss lens cleaner with uh, this actually has alcohol so it is actually uh, I don't know how much percentage but it should be pretty good just always wipe down your phone and you should be good <laughs> um, anyway just another life I just wanted to show you guys how to unlock the boot loader on the OnePlus 8 or the 8 plus if you follow my method you should be just fine if you have trouble um, go ask Greg. <laughs> Other, uh, so Greg all asked, uh, patch method is not a good way method. It is a method, but I don't recommend it, obviously, because you're just rooting. And you know, part of rooting, you want to install twerp recovery. And I don't, I don't actually recommend that method. I would just wait for the full root method because installing the patch means you're going to have to change the boot image. Um, whereas installing Majisk, you're just going to use Majisk. But you can also follow the Android 10 method. You can find that here, uh, Android. Is it, is it running Android 10? Hold on, give me a second. Um, so if we're on Android 10, you can follow the patch method. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, so we're in return. Yeah, you, you can't follow the patch method that you can find out how to root Android 10. Just put Max Lee. 
Um, so this is actually for Pixel, but you can go ahead and use it for uh, also OnePlus 8, I think. I'm pretty sure. So what this does is it actually, you're patching the boot image or the kernel with root. Um, this was actually the temporary method for Android 10, but um, I'll have another full tutorial guide uh, for rooting one plus eight or eight plus, but for right now, this is gonna be it. Uh, 120 hertz. Let's see this. Oh, hold on. Display. Um, it's not actually showing me. Oh, advanced. Here we go. So it is 120 for the OnePlus 8 Plus. For the OnePlus 8, it's at 90, yeah. Because it can only do 90. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, join us on our Hi 